Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to RimWorld. Where last we left off, well, nothing much happened, really. So let's put it on speed 3 and let's continue from where we left off, where a warg is hunting bowl 1 for food. That's not good. Uh, where's bowl 1, though? I don't know their names. Cow 1, bull 2. Uh, this is cow. This is a cow. Oh, no idea, but what we're gonna do hauling milk. I can leave the milk outside. The warg is a lot quicker than we are, so. Oh, this is bull one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Get over here, just in case. And Faye cannot shoot. Come on, somebody else who's actually not doing much. Eden, you can put the research on pause for a little bit. Will we you too? Shoot at that thing. Eden over here. I want you to kill it. Okay, we're in revenge, but that's fine. That's exactly what we wanted to happen after a couple of hits. Because we want the work. Seriously, hunt that work. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, now you can continue doing what you were doing. Whatever that was. I mean, we are lacking food, uh, not food, well, food, yeah, we're lacking, uh, like, rice, potatoes, corn. But the one important thing we're currently lacking is... It's wood. Of course it's wood. That's something that I normally don't say, but because we had a toxic fallout, the trees are, have not grown back yet. Uh, okay, we had an electrical fire. A fault in the electrical system. That's fine. So yeah, we're lacking food, and it's actually kind of hot outside. It's 31, I guess indoors it's fine-ish. Not really. I still do need to fully finish building up my defenses. And that means... That means... Uh, what does that mean? That means I actually need to finish up building my defenses. Alright, I guess we can do that this episode. So what I normally do is I have my perimeter surrounded by a bunch of turrets. So there are going to be blind spots in this perimeter, but there are fallback positions. Like for example, this position here, which will have, uh, you know, it's, it's basically a fallback position. If something goes wrong, you know, you let this turret like take a bunch of damage, maybe kill something. And then everybody just falls back to like the center position where they can just keep firing at the enemy. Yeah, the enemy will have cover. True. But, you are safer than you were before, basically. So yeah, this is only a single turret here now. We're gonna slightly expand this area over here. We're gonna build a switch as well here. Uh, for now, though, let's actually build the outer perimeter. Where are we actually gonna build that? I'm thinking over here. No, it can't be over here because I'm actually gonna need to expand this a little bit. That's gonna go, like, oh, somewhere around here. So maybe here-ish. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Like... Next to the door. Ish. I know, I say ish a lot, okay? That over there. And security. Build the mini turret. Or so. I normally build them around these because that way, if I am not mistaken, which I could be, always keep that in mind. I could be mistaken. Everybody can be. We're all human after all. Uh, I think. Uh, but. If I'm not mistaken, it should actually get a cover bonus. Which is really good. And these will, as always, have constant power supplied to them. Because these are perimeter turrets, they will not be draining that much power. And we want them on all the time, after all. I could technically just put them on their own power grid, but... Mm. They, d they shouldn't drain that much power, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. How's our defense set up? Okay, uh, this area is covered. It's covered. But we're gonna need one here, one here, and probably one around here. I guess that's the next thing to do. Let's build a copy. I'm actually gonna build two here, because this is my most vulnerable spot. 
And why do I say that? Uh, normally, enemies come through the sides, you know, through the end of the map. Oh, mad alpacas. How many? Ooh, a lot. A lot of them. So what I'm actually going to do is turn that on immediately. Do you like not flick switches or something? Prioritize for clicking the switch and everybody's going to be restricted to the home zone. And the animals are going to be restricted... I forgot which one of these were. To the animal pen, temporarily. Just so that nobody's outside. Because how many alpacas are there? Oh, four of them. In fact, I should actually probably get a couple of shooters here. Just in case. We over here. You over here, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, and that should be fine. Just so, you know, just so the alpacas don't actually wreck a turd or something. They are a bit tanky. Don't kill all alpaca, please. No, uh, don't, don't shoot sheep, please. And now I'm just gonna designate them for hunting. If there are any alive, after all, oh, there are a couple. Okay, that's fine. Everybody can get back to whatever they were doing. So, with this many turrets, we're about to see if our defenses will actually hold up. Our power will actually hold up, not our defenses. If it's not, if it's not holding up, we're about to see if the store goes down during the night time. It, it is not. Uh, it is very slowly, so this means we're still fine on power, and that is with the extra turrets added, of course. So let's see how our tur turrets are doing. Yeah, we're gonna have a couple blind spots, but that should be fine. Because I'm actually still going to be adding turrets here. I'm gonna probably add one here diagonally and one here diagonally, because the this is not a good amount of turrets for me. I need like 20 here in the front. Just so if something attacks, I can just push everybody back. And these are going back to the animal area. And our people are going back to being unrestricted. Yeah, that's the plan basically. So next step, do I actually have enough marble? Hmm, not that much. And I actually don't have any marble chunks here, so I'm gonna need to find some marble chunks. Oh, there they are. All these, please, eventually. Yeah, I do want the turrets, like, close-ish to the door. And all of a sudden, everybody's doing uh, hauling, because most of my colonists are idle. They really don't have much to do. Because most of my colonists are doing very specific jobs, and when they aren't doing them, you know... Make a couple of grand sculptures, it should be fine. Like three of them. At least that'll put cargo pods. Yeah, alpaca wool. Okay. I should probably start a machining table soon because that's a lot of uh, scrap metal. It's called scrap metal, right? Uh, slag chunk. Yeah, let's see. Machining table and the symbol mechanoid. That should always be like infinite. Centipede Lanka, Lancer Scyther, yep, always, and it should be uh, do forever, but I just want the radius to be slightly smaller. And there should be here somewhere... Where is that? Okay, simple helmets, yeah, I should probably make a couple of those. Ambrosia Binge, Ugh, great. We're gonna take care of that in a moment. Heavy SMG, make LMG, no, assault rifle, pregnant, and mold, well. Okay, so we're missing a table. There should be one of those tables. Oh, we're actually missing one of those as well. On the side. Or am I gonna put it here? No, I'm not gonna put it there. Uh, we're missing a table. We're missing a table. Electric smithy? Is that the one we're missing, electric smithy? Scroll safe self-tamed. Uh, okay, we don't need that, really. Yeah, you know what? Designate that for hunting. It's fine. Actually gonna put it on one speed. 
Cheat, you really need to stop benching on Ambrosia. Stonecutter's table. Okay, yeah, I think that's the table we're missing. Electric smithing. We have the machining one. Electric still, we have. Drug lab, we're not... E oh, the, the smelter, that's the one we're missing as well. Alright, so I'm gonna need an electric smelter. Actually, I probably shouldn't have built it so close to... Shouldn't I? I will. At temperature. Uh, why is the temperature... Oh, it's very hot. So... Electric smithy and a thing, a, uh, a smelter. It's the smelter we actually need. Uh, let me actually build, uh, get on three speed and where's furniture again? I know I'm just gonna copy this chair. Considering we don't have wood, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, let me designate some chopping if they're rare. Okay. It's, the trees have finally started to grow up. Apparently at 50% you can chop them down. That's something I didn't know. I thought it was always like 80 plus. Oh well. How's our energy doing? The batteries are growing during the day, so our energy is doing fine, basically. And that is very important. And during the night time, the batteries won't really run out. I should probably put a light here. <laughs> That's like the production area should always have a light, shouldn't it? I think my last one burned down or something. I don't I don't remember honestly. Uh, just like your light burned down. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my light? Bring me my light. I cannot cook in this darkness. I don't know how they handle it, but they handle it. I don't know how you cook in the darkness, but they do it. Considering there's no windows, this is gonna be like pitch black inside. I have no idea how they're, how they're not like cutting fingers all the time. Or is that why everybody's getting food poisoning? Because there's like human meat inside. Hmm. That's a thought. Very interesting thought. I should probably make these a priority for Grey. Instead of the dresser, dining chair. Oh, these are unpowered because of course they are. I'm actually going to need to run the power conduit down here now. Okay, electric smithy. Alright. Oh, we actually don't need those, do we? Uh, okay, you know what? Turn the power off for it. I already built it, so I'm not going to destroy it. Yeah, turn the power off for it. Yeah, the electric smithy is basically the poor man's machining table. I, I totally forgot about that. I probably mentioned it like a couple of episodes ago and I totally forgot it. Caravan requests, not happening. Masterwork dining chair. Poem of plenty. This furniture is engraved with a depiction of outlaws playing chess. Hundreds of combat drones appear beneath the main subject. Sorry, I'm hearing a weird noise. Give me a second. I think somebody is vacuuming. <laughs> uh, okay, smelt metal from slag. So I'm gonna do this forever. Of course, I'm gonna limit the range a little bit. Which always should happen. And yeah, any worker can do this. We currently do have the power to sustain the smelter, but the smelter does take a lot of power, generally. Oh, Gray's actually the one doing it. That's a really weird noise. It really is. I'm actually not entirely sure how much steel that's even. That's 20 steel per slag. Well, I guess we do have a lot of slag, so... Eh, you know. There's probably even more out there that I haven't actually hauled. I am truly sorry if you can actually hear that noise. I really am. It's annoying me, and I actually have very, very interesting uh, sound isolating headphones. It's, it's an LG headset, but it's a really good gaming headset, and you actually, when it's on, everything else seems like really muffled, like you know somebody's talking to you, but you can't actually really make out what they're saying. It's, it's kind of a nice gaming headset. It's lovely. I do like the uh, 
LG stuff. I have an LG keyboard, mouse, mouse pad, and headsets. Only. Cargo pods. Okay. Bird scan. Sure. So there you see more steel slag chunks. Uh, so yeah, I, I do. Really, nobody has actually hauled this one. It's spoiled, isn't it? Isn't it? Touche. Prioritize hauling. Uh, we have uh, not enough time yet. There, there it goes. Oh right, nobody actually turned off these ones. The power needed 80 watts. Honestly, thought that was a lot more than 80. Oh well. That's still power conservation. Let's save the planet and all that stuff. Oh, that's turkey. For a second there, I was like, wait, what is that animal? Oh, that's our work. I guess the war our works can actually hunt by themselves, so it's sort of fine. I was actually going to designate that turkey to be hunted, but, you know, the work took care of that. Hey, you see, when they aren't really doing anything, they're going to go smelt a couple of steel slag chunks. Get us some extra steel. Yeah, on the topic of uh, gaming gear though, uh, there are many brands, uh, and I've actually gone through a couple of brands over the years, and uh, one of the lesser known brands, or at the very least uh, a lot of people that I've heard, that I know of, they don't really know of the brand, it's A4. Like A and 4, uh, it's a lesser known brand, uh, they do make quality stuff now. Uh, I've used their mouse and mice and keyboards for a very long time and it's very quality and they are a lot cheaper than something like a, an LG or a Razer. Uh, I used a Razer mouse pad for not very long actually. I found that they break really quickly for some reason. It could be me, it could be me, uh, yeah, it could be me. But uh, I, I, I just didn't like them that much i guess i don't know at that time i didn't like that one i don't even remember the one i had it was a very basic one though uh, the lg one there I, I just i'm enjoying the mouse the mouse pad uh the mouse the mouse pad i'm definitely enjoying it's like this big mouse pad it covers like I, I shouldn't say the whole desk because i have a big desk but it does cover like a large portion of the desk uh low psychic female drone okay and yeah, I, I am enjoying the big mouse pad. I actually haven't had a big mouse pad until now. Until I started, like, until I made this computer, until I made, uh, or this desk and everything. I never had a big mouse pad. I always had, like, the small ones. I was like, you don't really need a bigger mouse pad. When I was setting up uh, my current gaming setup, I was like, I'm gonna get a big mouse pad. Like, one of those really big ones, the ones that you can, you know, if you get cold, you can put it on your feet and it's gonna cover all your feet. Eh, those ones. So yeah, I got one of those. Now. And I'm really enjoying it. It's like this big thing. You don't need to move it at all. The small one I kept moving from time to time because it was annoying. This one, yeah, doesn't move, doesn't move. And the mouse. Honestly, I looked at a couple of mice. Uh, this is the one that stood out for me. I don't even remember what it exactly it was. It has like six extra buttons or whatever. Uh, that I don't really use that much. I do have a couple of stuff bound to them, but I rarely use them, basically. And what's important is, uh, nowadays I've noticed that mice are very small. I don't know who they're making these mice for, but they are very small. I used to have these big mice back in the day. I don't know if anybody remembers them. They, even, they were not even laser mice, the first mice. They were not laser mice. They had like this ball at the, at the back of them, at the bottom. Cow one has given birth. Okay, we have a lot of animals now. Uh, shall we train him in obedience? Sure, why not? Uh, they, they used to be like this big bulky mice and I'm just, I'm still used to them by the way. You used to rest like your entire hand on the mouse and now it's like, uh, I have to like hold my hand up, it's like slightly in the air, it's slightly curled up, it's annoying. And this was like the biggest LG one I can find. Or at the very least on the site I was looking for, which is... I don't remember... Why do I not remember sites? And I actually bought a lot of stuff from that site. It gets somewhere bookmarked, but... Mm. Multi-analyzers are done. We're actually gonna need to make a multi-analyzer now. Which should be under production? No? 
miscellaneous. Oh, there it is. Oh, we need 50 plasteel though, which is something we don't have. So I guess I'll start researching something. Shield belts? Sure. Yeah. Oh, Mad Muffalo. How many? Just one? Just the one? If it's just the one, it's fine. If it's all of them, then it's, an it's a problem. Muffalo tend to have a lot of health, so. Oh, the cows are making love over there. Oh, it saw somebody. Over here. Okay, well. Okay, I guess it banged on the door a couple of times and decided to go away. Can actually turn this on. And you know what? You two. Get over here. Oh, Lyra was flicking the switch, but. You're flicking the switch now. Okay. You know what? You prioritize hunting the buffalo and flick the switch again. Yeah, I miss the big bulky mice. I really do. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody has a mice a mouse recommendation, like it's big and bulky. Send the link. Like I won't change this one for a while. I like this one, but, but when I do need to, hopefully it will not be soon. I have a tendency with mice. We'll have a long track record with mice. A very long one. That's probably the most changed thing ever. Seriously. Keyboards, not as much though. I used to have the very first, my very first keyboard was, it was, it was a very basic white one. I don't remember the brand. I don't, I don't even know if it was like proper brand or something. It was just a very basic keyboard. But I remember it was like white and just standard keyboard. And I had that for a very long time. Actually, I still probably have it in one of the other apartments because I still have my first PC somewhere. And uh, in fact, I've, I've been asked several times why I'm not like throwing it away. And I said, well, I don't want to. It's, uh, it's my first PC. I mean, it's not functional anymore. It has, uh, I'm pretty sure it has a dead hard disk. Possibly it needs new memory, RAM memory as well. Or the motherboard gave out. It's one of the three things. Possibly any combination of the three things. Because uh, it's just very old. It's over 15 years old. Over 15 years old. I actually don't know exactly how old it is by now. The 2019, so it's 17, 18, 19? I don't know, somewhere around there. I don't even remember when it was... I, I mean, I remember the day we brought it home, but I don't remember the exact year or date. Which is weird. I mean, I've never been good with remembering dates anyway. Anyway, there's a party going on. We're still short on food, because of course we are. I mean, we finally uh, actually have some extra rice, but we still need more. I guess when the corn comes in, the corn crop is actually going to be a lot, so. We should be able to stabilize. We did make a bunch of kibble, so. There's always that. I could hunt the Mega Sloths. 10% chance for them to attack. Hmm. Muffalo have a two, but the thing is that Muffalo is a lot scarier because they're in groups. Uh, if they all become enraged, enraged, the one hunter cannot do anything about that. It just gets a, out of hand really quickly. While the Mega Sloth is just going to be a single Mega... Oh! Oh, that's ours! That's Veronica! I can't believe the Mega Sloth has a name. Yeah, I might just decide to, you know... Hunt out a bunch of Mega Sloths. Oh, there's more here. Compact machinery. We actually haven't found the... Uh, there's normally on each map I've noticed, or at the very least, I used to have noticed, so to speak, because I haven't really played this game in a while. They might have changed stuff. There's normally these like eerie, creepy spots in one of the mountains 
where there's like scythers and lancers it's probably this thing over here we haven't actually gotten the message yet but as soon as i do normally i build like a fortification around it and then open it because it can be deadly and i build like a bunch of these as well because as i said it can be really deadly and would you look at that all the steel slag has been smelted uh, barely believable is it and we have enough marble chunks as well and we do need those because i'm planning on building one more of these probably won't be this episode because we actually have a lot of room left here it might not seem like it but there's this is a lot of room here so we don't really need it yet i actually could replace rui's uh, uh what's your bio smg light smg machine pistol with something else uh, somebody's gonna make ground sculpture. Uh, could make an LMG. You know what? If somebody can make an LMG. Let them make an LMG. For now, I'm actually gonna turn off the electric smelter. Or you know what? No, let it let it stay turned on. It's not really draining too much power. We have enough, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And there's some more steel. Steel slag chunks. More marble, of course. Drag that as well. Okay. Oh, one more thing I actually had to do. I do have a lot of steel and flooring. It is concrete. And I normally make concrete flooring like so. Two rows. And there is a reason for that. It's so that trees don't grow here. Uh, it's so that they, the trees don't block me going next to the sandbags. Because the sandbags provide more cover than the trees. I believe there is a wait for that to actually be shown but i'm not entirely sure how it was beauty display no room stats no automatic rebuilding uh, should that be on yeah, sure i'll turn that on visibility of roofs that's nice that's a nice function i guess i don't have that i know there was a way but I just don't remember what the way it was. Yeah, that's that's why I do that. Mad Boom Rat. Now that's actually kind of dangerous. And prioritize flicking the switch. The Boom Rat, the Boom Lopes, anything like that can be really, really dangerous. Depending on when, where they explode. Not, well, when and where, but mostly where. A cow's pregnant. Yeah, a lot of cows are going to be pregnant. Like, look at it. It's actually not going towards my front entrance, which is that good. I need to be careful if anybody tries to leave through this door, I need to, like, block them out. Or I could just forbid the door temporarily. Rare thrombos. Ah, we might try hunting those. You never know. Try on uh, your getting concrete. Okay, start shooting. Shield belts have finished. Sterile materials. That's something I actually should have done and I thought I did. Oh wow, nobody's actually nobody actually hit the boom rat really. And I was going to hit rare thrombos and mm. I believe rare thrombos actually have 100% agro, agro chance. Yeah, they do. Thrombos. But their horn is kind of valuable, so you know what, let's gather a couple of people here. If it actually comes here, I will open a fire. But if it doesn't, of course I won't. That's actually not enough people. Thrombos tend to have a lot of HP. Okay, that's one more. Lyra, you get over there as well. Tusha, you have a knife, you're not really going to do much. You two are really slow, but you know what? If you can make it over here, make it over here. Yeah, the thing, it's... Uh, hmm. I, what I can actually do is, whoever my fastest one is, is probably still not going to be fast enough to outrun that thing. I could go out and, like, snipe it. Nope. Oh. Lyra? 
your movement's okay, but your range is kind of short. You know, don't drop the LMG. How's your movement? It's okay. You have a bolt action, so let's go. Oh yeah, let's try and actually aggro the uh, Thrimbo. I still need to keep an eye on these guys so they don't leave, because they can undraft. And that is, I believe, a measure added so that you don't actually forget somebody drafted for a long time somewhere, and you, you just forget about them. It just needs to, like, say revenge. As soon as it says revenge, it's time for Latch to, like, get back. Come on, I should have given you a sniper rifle or something. I should really make one. There it is, Thrombo Revenge. It is really quick. Its movement speed is, I believe, a lot faster than the humans. 5.17, which is uh, whatever measure it is. And a human is 4.60. It's a lot quicker. And it can take a lot of beating. It's actually attacking the bear, that's good. Okay, Thrumbo is gone. So I'm actually gonna prioritize hunting the Thrumbo, whoever is an actual hunter. Just so that we can get that out of the way. Okay, it didn't really take much damage, it's just some bear hits. Ooh, the front left paw is very badly damaged. Hopefully somebody will actually go and heal the bear, please. Tending to grizzly bear one. Okay, good. Good. That's exactly what we want. We don't want the bear to go away. Get a better quality, please. We want the bear to live. Okay. All of our rice is gone again, but our corn is almost ready to harvest, so that's good. We also have some rice here that's almost ready. What I could do is probably expand the cornfield a little bit longer here. I mean, we do have 41 out of 60 fine meals, so it should sort of be fine. But I do want to increase those to 100, so... I guess I could expand the field a little bit. Expand it like so. I like this. Corn grows, grows slowly, but it gives bigger batches, so... There's always that. You know what? I'm actually going to end up the episode here. Has been a fun episode. Talked a little bit about my my personal preference in keyboards and mice. And, yeah, I know, I know. A very interesting topic. For now, though, my name has been Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of RimWorld, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.